Hello and welcome to Let's Play Minecraft. Um, I'm going to be playing the Aether uh, mod. So this is kind of an older version of Minecraft than what we currently have right now. It's 1.0 and we're on 1. 1. 1. 1. something. But not 1.0. So there's a little bit of difference in here but um, the, let me just make a world really quick. These are all my um, previous worlds, and as you can see right here, the Aether is kind of showing uh, my pixel art world, which I made a long time ago, and I actually haven't done anything with since. Um, don't need that, because time goes by when it's showing the world there, so monsters are going by, and they think I'm standing there, even though I'm not. Alright, so we're going to make a Aether world, and let me just tell you right off the bat that I am going to start from the beginning of the world. Let's put in a seed for fun. Alright, um, there's no reason to actually put in a seed. Anyways, uh, so this means I'm actually gonna have to build a house and everything and mine for diamond. Then once I get diamond, I can get obsidian. Once I get obsidian, I can go to the nether. And then once I go to the nether, I can get glowstone. And once I get that, then I can finally go to the aether. I played, or uh, I think I mentioned this, but I played the aether a long time ago. And they've updated it quite a bit since then. So I don't know if there's any difference at all. Or if they just updated it for 1.0 because I played it back when it was like 1.7.3 or something which is a while ago and uh, hopefully when they update the Aether for the latest Minecraft I can get that too but right now we're just gonna play this and um, one, once I actually get far enough on where the Aether or when I finally get to the Aether, I'll just put a link here to that if you actually want to just skip straight ahead to the Aether. But right now, I'm just going to start off like new. So, first of all, I want to get wood so I can make resources and make a house and mine for stuff with uh, very useful wooden tools. And I'm just going to jump up here and try to get a lay of the land have some nice uh, viewpoints but can't see anything it's forest as far as the eye can see so instead of collecting wood I'm going to explore a bit because this isn't the type of place we want to be in I mean it's great for trees and stuff but I don't see any caves at all and I need coal like right off the bat so I'm going to go look for some, and I guess I'll collect some stuff along the way, kill a few animals for fun, and profit, like that chicken there. I can eat that later, because I have hunger. And there are a lot of chickens here. I think I saw a cow earlier too, but I didn't think to kill him. As I swing my fist to kill the enemies I actually get more hungry so I don't want to do it too much there's a little small underground whoops <coughs> I just have to dig my way out I wanted to see if there was actually any coal down here so one of the crevices or something I should probably start a timer nah uh, Audacity actually times it for me, so I'll just keep an eye on that every once in a while. Die! Cows are by far the most beneficial thing to kill. They give a lot of meat, usually. That one only gave me one. What the heck? But it heals the most, too. And you can eat it raw without getting sick or anything. Did I just hear two cows move simultaneously? See? He gave three. I guess that makes up for the previous cow not giving more than one. There are a lot of cows all of a sudden. Yeah, this is the second most important thing is getting meat. I suppose you can survive a night 
without it, but just barely. I have it on hard difficulty, so you can actually die from hunger if you don't eat. So, I guess it's kind of good to get some food. And I'm too lazy to punch chickens, because they don't give me enough uh, food. What's this? Ooh, cave. Maybe I'll just build my house over here. There are a lot of caves. I'll just take down this tree on my way. Because uh, I need a little bit more wood than this. And I want to move over to that mountain and see what it's got on the side. Because it looks like a good area for coal. Keep in mind, I'm kind of a. I kind of know everything about Minecraft, so if you're looking for someone who just started off to kind of have fun with that, um, this isn't really it. I mean, I've never played the Aether before, but all the way up until that, I pretty much know what I'm doing. I might not have my pr priorities as straight as others, but I'm pretty sure everything's pretty straightforward for me. Alright, so I saw coal over there. And I'm just checking out all this area, these areas, because I'm pretty sure all these caves link. They just, if I go in one, I'll eventually come out another or something. Oh, as you can see in the aether, it gives you a lot of um, little equip slots here. I think those might be for arrows, or maybe they're just for nothing. I'm not positive on that aspect. We'll see. So, if you are new to Minecraft and have no idea what I'm doing right now, I am crafting crap. Right now, it's a wooden pickaxe. So, I can get this coal down here and maybe some stone. Yeah, I'm gonna get stone. So, some stone, too. I can't talk. So. Oh, there's some, um, right there's some iron, if you can see that. I don't know how bright your screen is. Maybe you can't see very dark areas. My screen is extremely bright. Like, if you look at my secondary screen and then look at my primary screen, it's kind of a blinding comparison there. I wonder if there's any monsters down here. Oh, more coal. Just did a creepy sound. So I'm gonna need quite a bit of coal for both cooking things and making torches so it's not dark at night. I hope I can find some sheep too, because that'll make it'll make it a lot easier to go throughout the day. Cause if you have wool I just hit my headset. If you have wool you can make a bed, and if you make a bed then you can just skip the nights, go straight to day each time it gets night. And I'm pretty sure I heard a skeleton, so I'm getting out of here. I don't really want to confront anything this early on yet. I don't even have a weapon on me. So I'd pretty much just be punching them to death, because I don't think the pickaxe does much more damage than that. Especially a wooden pickaxe. I think you could actually do quite a bit of damage with a diamond pickaxe if you had one. Diamond is like the top tier of tools. It goes um, wooden, stone, iron, and then um, um, diamond. Armor goes a little bit differently. It's leather, chainmail, which you can't actually get, I don't think, and uh, iron, then diamond. Yes, you can make I. Oh wait, no, there's gold. I I can always forget about gold because it dies really fast. It's about as good or better than diamond at what it does, but it doesn't last very long at all. It lasts about the length of wood, which isn't very long. So I feel like 
making a house really close here and just kind of linking it to the caves. That way I can uh, explore at night without having to worry about too many monsters. Um, I'm trying to look for some sheep right now because that would be optimal. I kind of, once I get coal and some food, I kind of ignore everything else and look for sheep. And then if it gets night, I just build a quick uh, shelter and stay there. Ah, sheep. I'll just kill them with this one pickaxe because I kind of need to get rid of it. In order to get the most, well, pickaxe died. In order to get the most wool from sheep, you have to use shears on them, but I don't have any shears, so I'm just going to punch him. If you kill them like this, you only get one piece of wool. If you shear them, you get like three, and the sheep lives and regrows its wool. So, um, I don't really need more than three pieces of wool, so I think it's starting to get dark. At least it feels a little bit darker. I'll just dig into a wall here. That'll be a good place to lay low for the night. By the time I finish it, it should be about dark out. Oh, great. I think the Aether also gives special music, and I have music turned on right now, but I don't think anything's playing. Or do I have music turned on? Yeah, I do. Alright, let's get a bed set up here. Ah, just enough planks on me. some sticks and make torches yeah okay and we'll just light up this room so you can see and I can see I'll make this a little bit higher so I don't wake up and have my head stuck in the ceiling because I think that used to be a glitch for a while and I don't think it's really one anymore but I'm still wary of it Look at it get dark out there. Alright, we'll just sleep. Because I don't really want to stay inside the house the whole night. It's not very fun. And not very good use of our time. Alright, so that was a good first episode. And as we go out through making a house, I will... Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay. So I'll be back.